All right, we just. All right, let's check out this uh, EHA valve here. 1992 Mercedes 300 EW124. It's right here. And you can see that it is kind of wet with gasoline. So I basically. Uh, Clean it off with some carb spray. They just decide to let go, they just let go. You can see where it's leaked out of there. It drips down here. All of these here are are weep holes. There's a bunch on that side, then there's a bunch on that side. Why do they put these here? I have no idea why they would put these holes here, because this is where they leak out of. It's a Bosch. Um, this is an adjustment screw that is a last resort thing. You don't even want to touch that, because even though all of these EHAs look the same for Mercedes. Um, each one of them is tuned, factory tuned, to the type of motor it's going on. So like a, uh, I know I tried a, uh, I had a 300 SC in 1990 with an M103 engine. And I figured, oh, EHA, it's all, you know, it's the same. And so I bought one, and the car ran like crap, and I was trying to, I was going, oh, there's something, it's something else wrong. So I spent six months trying to diagnose this car, 300 SE, pulling my hair out, spark plugs, cap, this, that, testing this, 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 this. Then finally, I pulled the EHA that I bought for it, a new one, and I looked at the numbers on it, and I ran those numbers into Google, and it came out for a 190E. And the M103 engine in a 300SE is a 3 liter, and the 190E is a smaller engine, it looks the same, but uh, what is it, 2.8 and something else. So it's tuned for a smaller, you know, system. So that's why. So I sent it back and I went with a different company and I got the exact number, put it on the 300 SE. Man, that thing ran like brand new. You know, they each have a number. So uh, what you do is you... Uh, focus focus you um, what you do is you write that number down and you search the internet and there's interchange part numbers you know it'll you go to one site and type in the year and it'll come out with with their part number OEM part number and then across reference it'll give you a bunch of different numbers and if this number is in it then that's the part for you or for the car Whoa. anyways can't focus so that's about all i have to say about an eha now i'm gonna order a new one my son's paying for it he's not real happy about it i said well it's a 28 year old car things wear out it's got 140 over 140,000 miles um some parts just wear out after a while especially these these things um it's cheaper to spend the 300 bucks than going out and buying another car you know no we never buy new cars because you know we just don't um I always buy used cars with a little bit of mileage on them. 
but this car we've you know i've redone the head gasket on it i've done a lot a lot to it over the last 10 years I and mean, we know that car inside and out and we know exactly what's wrong with it what needs to be fixed like this um so do your homework um i'm going to be getting a new one installing it and putting it uh, on my channel and we'll see the difference what the car was exhibiting was uh a really unusual startup, very cold startup, kind of, you know, just not idling well. Um, the car still ran good, but another couple of months of driving it with that leak, it would start just crapping out and it just gets worse and worse and worse. There's some kind of a diaphragm in here. Uh, got the brand new EHA valve. Looks new. Almost $300. Can you believe it? Came with two seals. I'm going to put it on. Okay. AHA's back on. Air cleaner's back on. And the duty cycle, Hertz duty cycle is working again. I have to adjust it up a little bit, let the whole thing warm up, but if you noticed in the previous video, uh, beginning, I wasn't getting anything like this. This is, this is normal, it should be fluctuating like that. So, I do believe that a bad EHA valve leaking will mess up your duty cycle. You won't mess it up, but you, you won't be able to read it. Cool. Gotta warm up some more and test drive it. Adjusted the duty cycle before I test drove it. Now it's, uh, it's about right on. From what I understand, you get this, uh, what is it, three millimeter, I think I said, yeah. Um, this key goes down into a little L and you push down, it's on a spring, so you find it. You push down, not all the way down, or it'll kill the engine. And you turn it right to rich in the mixture and left to lean it out. Vector, her test run. Right. Perfect idle. It's in park. Or no, it's in uh it's in drive. Try to give it a little bit. It seems like it has more more her uh, get up and go too. test hill A new, a new EHA will uh, breathe new life in your engine. Now I'm going to uh, take the old one and take a hacksaw to it and see what's inside. Yeah. 
hazards. A brand new part, an expensive part. Cool. Anyways, that's it.